So, of course, this raises a, a range of ethical questions around what leaders or policymakers, CEOs of companies should be doing. How do we as a society cope with these changes and, and enjoy the benefits without seeing some of the downsides? Well, I think, you know, leaders of companies and leaders of civic, civic organizations are essentially cultural architects. Uh, they build an environment in which people can flourish and projects fly. That's their role. Uh, and as cultural architects, we need to be building, for example, cultures of autonomy in an age of automation. So I call it humanizing the digital, making sure that there's a part within our corporate structure that allows for people to do this. Uh, the Bank of America found last year with a study, 90 of its workers were given censored badges and asked to just go about their lives for a week. And at the end of the week, it was found that the ones who produced the most mingled the most. So the bank, the biggest bank in America, changed its whole coffee break mentality to bring people together and discourage digital engagement during that time.